The Bullseye by Anonymous. Considered by many, perhaps one of the best Jewish storytellers of all time was the preacher of Dubno. He would exhort his fellow human beings to greater deeds of piety, kindness, and charity. And he did it not through long-winded sermons, as many preachers back then and today are still prone to do, but he did it through fables, allegories, stories. And he became one of the most respected, the most revered, the most beloved Jew of his time. And what set him apart from all of the others was that no matter whom he was speaking, he always seemed to find the perfect story. So much so that once his good friend, Rabbi Elisha Vilna, said to him, How is it that you seem to find the perfect story for the perfect moment? And, as was his custom, the preacher of Dubna said, Well, let me tell you a story. There was once a Russian nobleman whose great ambition in life was to become a master archer, who with his bow and with his arrow would be able to hit the bullseye every single time. And in pursuit of that goal, he went to the military academies of Moscow and St. Petersburg. And although he became much better than most, he never reached his goal of hitting the bullseye every single time. Once, he was traveling through a small Jewish village, and he saw, there at the edge of the village, a small, dilapidated barn, leaning drunkenly as if it was about to fall over. And on the side of that barn were two dozen or more targets, and in the center of every target stuck an arrow. Well, he was astonished. He had never seen such a prodigious display of shooting, and he thought to himself, if I could only speak to the one responsible, perhaps he could unlock the secrets I've been after all these years. So he sent for that one. He was even more surprised when they brought to him a 12-year-old boy, a barefoot boy, dressed in rags. And the Russian nobleman said to him, You? You did this? And the young boy said, Yes, Your Excellency. But how? Where did you learn to shoot like this? Well, it's simple, Your Excellency. You see, first, you take careful aim and pull the arrow straight back. Then, after aiming at the barn, you let the arrow fly. And after the arrow hits the barn, then you'll go up and paint the target around it. And so, concluded the preacher of Dubno, so it is with my stories. Whenever I hear or come across a good story, I take it into my heart, and eventually I find the right moment to paint around it.